great to be here today. Thanks everybody that's attending. Uh, really excited to have everyone here. Um, also champion, uh, Tyler Pritchard, we're excited to have you here um, and participating with us. And so I just wanted to give a quick um, update uh, on, on, uh, on Tyler. So he's the regional vice president, uh, group benefits at Sun Life. And he's actually been a champion for over a year now, uh, since February 2021. So coming up on two years. Um, and he's been a valuable member, an advisory committee member. So helping to really um, provide feedback and input on, on how we can continue to improve the campaign on different elements that we're implementing. So grateful to have him here. I'm going to stop sharing my screen so that we can see him here. So welcome. Thanks, Bob. It's great to have you here. Um, yeah, it's great to be here and great to see all the familiar names. Yeah, I just thought I'd start out with some of uh, questions and, and just get into it. Uh, sure. First, for those who uh, don't know, just maybe tell me a bit about yourself, your organization, and uh, what it is you do. Yeah, sounds great. So, so Sun Life is a leading international financial services organization. Uh, we provide insurance, wealth and asset management solutions uh, to both individuals and corporate clients, basically across the globe. We have operations in a number of markets worldwide, including Canada, the U.S., Bermuda, and a number of markets in Asia. <clears throat> so in Canada, though, we're the leader in Canadian uh, group benefits market. We provide coverage to over 5 million uh, Canadians and their dependents uh, through their employer-sponsored plans. And we work with our clients really with the goal of building healthy, productive, and engaged workforces and communities. So in my role as the regional vice president, I'm responsible for our group benefit business in the Western provinces, including sales, service, and general client and advisor relationships in the region. Um, our corporate purpose is actually to help our clients achieve lifetime financial security and live healthier lives, which really aligns nicely with the Buddy Up program, but also provides a great vision for our group benefits business in the West. Um, and in the region, we take a lot of pride in being um, viewed as the local provider, a community-focused organization, um, which again has really led us um, to connect with the Center for Suicide Prevention. Well, it sounds like you have a, a great outreach and, and you're doing some great work there. Awesome. And I was curious, so maybe uh, another question there. Um, when looking at your industry, what is kind of the male culture like within your industry? Yeah, good question. Like, you know, we're a very large and diverse organization, um, as I sort of just alluded to. <clears throat> um, we do have some groups and some business units that have a gender balance and some that are uh, male do dominated and have been for a number of years. Um, some areas may fall into sort of those traditional dynamics of being more competitive, less collaborative, less open, um, and certainly sort of less open to people showing their vulnerability. But we definitely take great pride in being a progressive, diverse, inclusive, safe organization to work at. And so I would really say that we've made great progress on this in the last number of years. Uh, it's certainly not perfect, though. Um, you know, our executive leadership team are very vocal about mental health, supporting employees' mental health. And over the last number of years, um, there's been a lot of dialogue from our senior leaders all the way up to our president and to our CEO uh, on the importance of taking care of mental health. Um, and they really don't shy away from sharing their own personal experiences or covering what traditionally have been very difficult topics to discuss in a corporate setting. Um, in fact, one of our, if anyone's connected with, with me on LinkedIn, they would have seen this, but one of our senior leaders uh, lost his daughter to suicide. Um, and he's been very vocal about his experience, um, raising awareness of suicide prevention, really, um, in my opinion, breaking down the stigma um, and sharing sort of his healing journey, which has been incredibly powerful, actually. So um, I think a lot of that vulnerability and that culture of openness is sort of being developed through some of these very focused initiatives on our part. Yeah, 100%. And thank you for sharing that experience. And I think the organization and yourself are making great strides in, in enhancing that conversation around mental health. Mm. Um, when it comes to Buddy Up, I wanted to ask what prompted you to get involved? 
Yeah, so I'll maybe answer this from two different perspectives because I think it's sort of evolved and I have a, a personal connection to the Buddy Up program, but I also have um, that sort of morphed into a professional relationship or a relationship between Sun Life and Buddy Up. So um, for me, it really started uh, at a personal level. Um, in my family, you know, mental health and suicide have always been present, uh, have always been extremely challenging for me. And you know, I lived and breathed that stress, guilt and stigma that can be associated with these topics, you know, throughout my childhood and even until today. Um, in 2018, uh, very suddenly, a very close friend of mine took his own life, um, which hit very close to home for me. Uh, and as sometimes happens, uh, you know, life had taken us in different directions in recent years, but I hadn't talked to him for, for a couple of years. Um, and I honestly had no idea that he was going through such a challenging time and really wished, you know, that I could have been there for him in some way. Had I asked or had I known, you know, how would have things potentially been different? Uh, and I know that a lot of my friends felt very much the same way um, when we got this, this news. Um, so from there, um, actually one of our clients, so back to the professional side, uh, Schlumberger, also known as SLB, who's also a champion of the Buddy Up program, um, introduced me to the center and, and Buddy Up. And that's really how the connection started uh, for me. So got involved, met a cash and Mara, um, had a few conversations and, and did sort of join the advisory committee. Um, but really the professional part of this is sort of just a natural extension of what we were already trying to do. Um, so, you know, Canada was already facing a mental health crisis prior to COVID-19. Um, the pandemic had amplified that crisis um, and, and really set the stage for further mental health um, impacts for years to come. Yeah, we know, you know, 11 Canadians die by suicide. Um, every day more that's that equates to more than 4,000 preventable deaths a year it's the second leading cause of death among young adults so aged 15 to 34 and men in particular are vulnerable um, and so you know also suicide is a very sensitive topic to tackle so as I mentioned the pandemic had brought on mental health issues and the issue of suicide to the forefront and it's um, it, it certainly seems like there's a greater societal willingness to discuss this topic and to reach out for help. Um, so, so I think that's great progress. Um, and then in the professional realm, you know, we, as a life insurance provider, we, um, and a partner in supporting our clients' mental health in the workplace, you know, we do encounter situations where their employees do die by suicide. And we hear about the impact that has on the managers, on the organization as a whole. It really leaves a, a huge impact on the employees and the leaders. Um, and we've definitely seen clients struggle with this, you know, how, how to deal with the crisis situation that falls out of this, but also about how do you, how do you take strides to improve things into the future? How do you reduce stigma? How do you create an open and safe environment for people to speak up and share how they're feeling? And so um, we've really, you know, shared buddy up, not as a Sun Life initiative, but as a sort of right thing to do for, for our clients. Um, and I think you've seen a couple of other champions speak about, you know, they stumbled across some of this through the Sun Life website, et cetera. So yeah, we've been sort of sharing the story and referring clients to the buddy up program uh, on a number of occasions. And it's really um, been received very positively. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing those experiences, and especially personal experiences. I know uh, it can be hard to open up about. Um, and often, as we say at the center here often, is suicide is very complex, and it's, it's hard to recognize the signs. And so the more that it becomes part of uh, a regular part of our conversation, we're better able to identify um, you know, warning signs and factors, uh, risk factors. But and yeah, Sun Life is doing a great job in, in promoting uh, Buddy Up and, and kind of getting that word out there. Um, touching base off that, maybe I'll just kind of probe you a bit more there. Um, what have you and your group done really in, in regards to engaging with campaign and implementation and so forth? Yeah, so, so a couple perspectives on this one as well. Like, I think 
I'll be totally honest, um, implementing sort of body up and the campaign materials and education within Sun Life has been a bit of a challenge where we still haven't sort of cracked that nut yet, but we are working hard to, to figure that out. I think the pandemic made it particularly challenging. Um, we were fully work from home um, for basically two full years, and now we're in a purely hybrid. Um, and so we do have you know, a large portion of our employees working from home on any given day. So in office, physical materials can be challenging. So we're still trying to figure out how to optimize this, but it's definitely still a priority for us. I think where we've had more success is actually, as I alluded to earlier, um, getting the word out about the program to our clients. Um, and so I think we've had a lot of success there. Um, we did, um, we do pr produce communication around, you know, events such as the Mental Health Week in May, World Suicide Prevention Day in September, World Mental Health Day in October. So we do leverage the Buddy Up program and all of those communications to our clients uh, to remind them of some of the great community resources that are available to them. Um, we've also, we have a direct to member brand uh, that we call Lumino Health. You might've seen the logo on that prior slide. Um, but this is sort of a public website, luminohealth.ca. Um, and within that site, we have sort of a list of providers by topic. And so if you go into the mental health section, you'll see both Body Up um, and the Center for Suicide Prevention as sort of trusted partners uh, in this space. Um, and so our clients, both, both client sponsor clients and their employees can access that information from there. And I think you know, when I look at the growing list of um, of champions of the Buddy Up program, there's lots of familiar names and logos on there. Um, those connections made through that platform. So I'm really proud of that. Yeah. Perfect. And, and thanks for those thoughts. I, I think it's a good perspective to have show that it's not always easy to implement and that, you know, sometimes hard, having these harder conversations about mental health and especially when it comes to suicide it is it can be a hard topic to bring into the workplace um, but it also shows that uh, the nice thing about buddy up is the flexibility of, of how to participate and with sun life and yourself one aspect uh, of being a champion is that promotion so being able to really put the word out there um, and you've done a great job in in that um, when I was kind of looking at different successes that you've had, I maybe ask you kind of expand a bit on that. How has Buddy Up made an impact on your organization and clients? Um, and what maybe have you heard from them? Yeah, great question. I think I alluded to some of these earlier. Like I do think um, we've had a couple of large Alberta-based clients where um, they were struggling with how to respond to suicide in their workforce and in particular uh, you know how do managers line managers um, process something like that and not you know the responsibility they may feel and all those things um, and then I think the other piece of that was also the legacy right so you know you've lost an employee um, you want to make a change for the better and so I think the buddy up program has actually been a really great solution in that space to say, you know, we're going to embed this in our organization. We're going to try to change our culture um, over time to support our people in different ways. So I think that's been great. Um, we also had Akash actually join us on a, a little roadshow we did earlier this year. So we um, sort of our first client event coming out of COVID, we had about 300 folks um, join us in three different cities in the West. Akash did a great job of covering what the center does, all the programs that are in particular, a great overview of Buddy Up and feedback has been really exceptional about not the session as a whole, but in particular, cautious section. And um, so I really see that as a success story where we highlighted um, something that's outside of Sun Life, um, but that is there to really help our clients. So um, I think that that would be a few of the, the main highlights for me. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah, a cautioned report back on that trip and, and said it was a great, uh, great time and, and a great effort that went out there. So really appreciative of uh, Sun Life bringing him on for that. Yeah. yeah maybe, 
maybe just one more question. Um, sure. I'm just thinking about those that may not be involved or just are newly involved uh, with Buddy Up. Um, getting started. I know you mentioned that, yes, it can be difficult to, to implement at, at times. Um, do you have any tips or learnings from your personal experience um, implementing or working with Buddy Up on kind of where to start? Yeah. yeah, I spent some time thinking about this one. So, I mean, I think for me, in an organization, um, it, it's important that the tone really starts at the top. Um, so, and I'll come back to that in just a second, but obviously leaders play a key role in changing culture, reducing stigma, creating open, safe spaces for people. Um, and if there isn't a sort of positive workplace culture, uh, one that really promotes everyone's health overall, um, employees aren't going to be able uh, to get the support that they need or access the care that they need. Um, but I'll also say that grassroots initiatives are probably one of the greatest ways to influence. Um, you know, so for us, um, it, it, this was grassroots. It started in the West. It started with me and a couple of my colleagues and, uh, and it influenced the way that our leaders talk. And so I don't think you need to wait for your leaders to create this or to adopt something like this. I think, you know, as an employee or a member of an organization, you have the power to affect this change. So I would say, just get started. Um, like I said earlier, we haven't figured out how to do this in the optimal way in Sun Life, and that's fine. Um, we're gonna get there eventually. Um, but yeah, I would say regardless of the role you have or the responsibilities you have um, in your organization, uh, this is a great initiative to take forward. And honestly, no one's going to say no to this. Um, this, this is all good. Um, this is for the good of the workplace and for all the people that are there and all of their buddies. Um, and so I would definitely encourage people to just take the leap um, and see where this goes once you get started. Um, so I think really for me, that would be the advice I would give us. Just get started. Yeah. And, and thank you for sharing that advice. I, I've spoken with multiple organizations where, yes, it did it, it start from the, kind of the ground up. A lot of times, you know, it's, it's just kind of bringing it up to those around you and, you know, it'll work throughout the organization, but it really buddy up. It starts with individuals. I mean, even within organizations, it's the individuals that are, are making it happen within that organization individuals like you so we're really appreciative of all the work and, and the champion that you do for everybody else yeah well thank you and uh i thank you guys for all the amazing work that you do because it is really making a difference thank you and thank you for coming today um that's the last question i had um so really appreciative that you were able to come today and and have this section where we could talk to you a bit about your experiences so thank you for coming you're very welcome thanks for having me